the Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The S&P 500 now, it's up just six points. Not a big deal right there. We're looking at the 10-year treasury, down two basis points. Again, not a big mover. Mortgage-backed securities are down two basis points. Again, not a real big issue right there. So nothing exciting in the markets this morning. But I'm going to tell you what's going on after I tell you that OBMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry, calculated from actual locked rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. 30-year conforming rates yesterday locked at 6.886. The 30-year jumbos locked at 6.56. The USDA rural loans locked at 6.701. FHA, 6.674. And the best loan on the market for those that earned it is the VA loan, 30 years. 6.562 is where they locked yesterday. Why is all of this happening? What is driving the markets? Well, it probably has a little bit to do with, I, I don't know, I, I, I can't say it too succinctly, but the Federal Reserve, they just, they don't know which direction they want to go. So it's hard for the markets to follow what the Federal Reserve has to say. And I'll explain to you what I mean by that. Loretta Mester, Cleveland Fed president. So April 5th, 2021, she says, quote, I am unconcerned with inflation running away from us, unquote. May 5th, 2021, quote, I'm not worried about inflation getting out of control, unquote. May 6, 2021, quote, the Fed needs inflation, the Fed needs inflation expectations and real inflation to rise, unquote. May 6, I guess she likes talking a lot every day. By the end of the year, I expect inflation to be between three and a half and four percent with a drop in 2022. I think that we're in 2022 right now, and I don't see it dropping. Maybe she had this a little bit wrong. It is what it is. But then yesterday, October 11th, 2022, depending on what day you're listening to us, Loretta Mester, quote, we have not seen any progress on inflation, and so I think we need to bring interest rates up Ooh. through this year and a little bit into next year, unquote. She went on to say, quote, monetary policy will need to become more restrictive in order to put inflation on a sustainable downward path, unquote. So what a difference a year makes. She had, uh, wh where, when was she not correct? Right, obviously last year, because we can look forward and say everything she predicted last year was wrong. Do we believe that this year she's correct? Now, I am going to share with you that we did get the producer price index. I like that report because it's on the producer level, which means it's more of a leading indicator than the consumer side. The Fed likes the consumer side. I'm just throwing you out there my opinion. Producer price index measures wholesale inflation rose 0.4% in September, two-tenths hotter than expected year over year. The PPI decreased from 8.7 to 8.5, and while it moderated, it was one-tenth higher than the 8.4% anticipated. Core rate, again, takes out food and energy rose by 0.3% in line with expectations. Year-over-year -year core rate decreased from 7.3 to 7.2, slightly lower than expectations. Bottom line, didn't see any meaningful decline in producer inflation, and that can translate to a worse report than expected tomorrow for the consumer inflation. Producers have two choices, cut margins or pass those costs along. What do you think they will do? That's the question. And that's the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva, they've got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990.